round as we get ready for ESL 1 Cologne 2020. And it's a big start. Crim starting to open up map two with some bloodshed, duking it out with Heroic over on short. Yes, we're coming straight into this. I'm sorry for the low warning. These guys were ready to get it going, and so are we. I say we, myself at the desk with Pansy and Sponge to be the voices of this game. We do see early action and early damage for Borup. I can't help but feel he's kind of signed a death sentence with that choice. Oh, oh well, that's a little bit of a saving grace maybe there. And you know what, Chad? We're going to give you a lot of time here because your normal spiel hasn't had time for it. Well, Rush just beat me to it. I was about to say, quick, look at Brolin. But Rush, uh, we're connected. He's uh, cotton on to that IQ one right there. Combination. Ha, 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 ha. <sighs> so with all this space that Brolin's taken early, uh -oh. Stown, I don't know if he's aware. Not at all. Not at all. You're right, Chad. That was such a great catch because he saw Stown jump for info, but he'd already tucked it on the half wall. Now look what that's done to the Fnatic rotate. Sound cues are plenty. Bomb's going to be eventually. Brolin alone. Someone has to acknowledge this. Someone has to make sure that the bank flank isn't open. That's Nico's job now. It's a nice little reset there for the CTs. Well, there it is. Threat eliminated. Down. You can evacuate that site. And now the T's have to go. You've got 25 seconds. Good work towards Tessus. Borup's one who's low earlier. Gets checked on, gets put down, and it's game on for the T's. They've won the site. They get the plant. And Nico and Kadian have to play this back in, but... They're a little worse for wear, but Golden Falling might be the golden ticket for the CT side. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know where Willy Wonka is right now, but he's certainly up for the task. On TikTok, if you're young enough. Way over my head, that one. Tic Tacs? Yeah. That's the one. You know, they say no sugar, but they're almost entirely sugar. Mm hmm. Nico has the kit. Why is he not the one with the bomb right now? Just a fake, Chad, to try and give Nico the fight. He was so precise onto the first two, but just couldn't quite convert. And now Fnatic have converted their pistol round start. Kalian had the kit, but no health left. Okay, so we can catch everybody up to speed right now. The reason that Fnatic would be picking this map, it is their best map. Uh, that's, nice. that's, that's always a good reason to be picking it. And for Heroic, they've only played it twice with this roster, and that's both within recent history. One win, one loss. The loss, I do believe, was against Big. So when you keep all those uh, tidbits in mind, you can understand why Fnatic would be wanting to pick into this one right here. Now, this series, if this trends in the way I think it will, within the first, I don't know, let's say six or seven rounds. Okay. Probably get a third written all over it. But okay. in the two games that Heroic have played on it, they played against Big, it was a 16-11 loss, and they played against Complexity, it was a 19-15 victory. That little bit of a sample size, and the good start there from KDM with a trade onto JW. Maybe their counter strategy might pay off here. Oh no. Oh, he gets a rifle test. This is no slouch. Golden neither. Aggression of that monster pipe. He's right to spray. Borup was considering it. And it's a very vital part of the map to maintain, especially considering the game plan here from Fnatic. A re-smoke all the way from CT spawn. Now you can see that he's, he's, he's well and truly cognizant of what is required of him. Well, that's quite fun, isn't it? How deadly these pistols seem to get sometimes. A couple of picks and it's it's threats are plenty. And the T-side are just holding. They have paused. They do have smokes and mollies to play with so they can run the clock down. Maybe not Na'Vi style. It did feel like I got thrown back a couple of years seeing Na'Vi hitting on Still 20 seconds. It. Yeah, <laughs> but, but here we are. So, right place, right time for the CTs. They're all in the correct spot for this. Now, whether or not they know fully oh, too early to spot out Crims, but Flush has heard it. Oh, rotation from Katie in here. Ah, that's uh, lucky for Borup to still be alive. He wants to put that deagle in the belly button as they come this corner, but nice clean kills should enable them to plant. It's only the scout on Kadian, already half health and a missed shot. He won't get many more chances to pull the trigger without resistance. Flashes, bullets all thrown his way. Couple of misses, gaps closed, and he will be eliminated. Puts the second on the board, Fnatic convert, and uh, we'll be seeing Heroic probably go for the full eco into the third. Yeah, so just uh, one of the keys to Fnatic, especially on a map like Inferno and Overpass as well, is the way that they play mid-rounds. They never seem to be flustered, and somebody always seems to have an idea. I want to take you back, Alex. Remember, there was a clutch situation on Overpass, and it's going to be quite particular, but it was one where Jay, uh, sorry, it was Crimson and Flusher. They planned on the B site, but they did an open plant near the pillar, 
and they actually went around and boosted and used the boost as the tease to win around. And it's just that kind of innovation and thinking on their feet that Fnatic do better than most. So here they're going to get an opportunity to melt away the long push. Okay, Tessa's onto Brolin. That was a quick one. But here's a perfect example as to why Flusher didn't buy a weapon. He would have the intention of picking up that AK, but now... Maybe, just maybe, there's more threats to be concerned about. Okay, dink down and eliminated. They'll be happy to take two frags and two weapons away from an eco round, and that's exactly what they've managed to get. Crimson's even going to have to be throwing his full util set just to recover the bomb safely. So nothing for poor old Flusher. He has gone for the uh, the Glock Zeus, a classic combination, into your third round T-buy. <laughs> I just want to hear you guys make the impression again. We can That's do it without the sound if you want. No, right? it's not the same. It's not the same. I like it to be a... It has to be relevant. Organic. Yeah, okay. organic. All right. Well, we could just, instead of singing in the car on the way home, we'll just make Zeus noises for you. I was really enjoying our, like, emo night way to work because my music taste hasn't evolved in 15 years. Well, I know that because when we're in green rooms together and, you know, Panic at the Disco comes on, the three of us all start singing uh, like idiots. Have a little bop. Have a little bop. Yeah. It's a good time. It's a good time. We've got to enjoy ourselves. Um... I As we get older, though, Lauren, right, we become the old people. We're gonna, you know, like em the emo jams, right? The, the My Chemical Romance, the Black yeah. Parade, the I'm Not yeah, Okay's yeah. of the world, the Panic at the Discos. Yeah, that will be middle middle age people music, and we'll be the, you know, oh dad, Panic turn already, that yeah. off, and it'll be like Panic at the Disco. You know, like isn't that strange? Isn't that weird? That was cool people music. That was about it wasn't cool. Back then. Okay. It was emotional, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, sad boy music, but it was popular. It sad was boy popular. music before sad boy music. We've got new sad boy music, a new it's, wave. It's changed. Yeah. I like that. It's kind of gone... Now we oh, just auto-tune it. I'm putting Green Day on on the way home, I think. Oh, I didn't Ooh. like Green Day that much. Okay, not honest. putting Green Day on. Uh, There's like a your... couple of songs I liked, but I was never one of the big fans. I had friends who loved them, you mm. know what I mean? Die Hard, never, never quite there. So if you're sad and emotional like the three of us, tweet uh, the playlist we should be playing on the drive Ooh, home today. Damn. Uh, That's we'll a good idea. idea. I love what that. recommendations are, ladies and gentlemen. Is it pacey? Because I see Molly's flashes a little bit of early attention. Boost. It's a heavy lean towards B and... Great spot. Nico finds Flush and suddenly things kind of get a little derailed here. <laughs> and straight back, ready for the fight. I'm surprised they hadn't fallen off that boost. And Kadian, he's just lost his head. This could be madness. He needs to shut him down. Borup saves the day for Heroic. And by throwing out his smoke, he can play around that himself. He's getting hunted down by multiple players, multiple angles. J Dubs eliminates a crucial threat. Went to a 2v2, but Tessus is really precise with that Galil. Okay. Nade comes out, Crim still doing damage. And I mean, the graffiti on the wall was fanatic of a different era, different player. But they certainly have an affinity for this map. One minute though, Crim's is going to have to really play with their minds here. And the thing that I hate about Overpass is when you want to be cheeky like Crim's has been, he either goes loud and makes it really clear or he has to walk this whole rotate. Yeah, but look how much room he's been given, Alex. Group. They're going on a fact-finding mission over towards B and guess what? Nobody's home. So taking this space, it's great. They're finding out that he's not here. But meanwhile, he's getting a free bomb site on the other side of the map. But Tessa's continuing forward individually. This is audacious. Yeah, and that's some gorgeous little camera work to set the scene. Crims will be planting Bankside safe, I assume. He needs to clear this before he can plant because it's the unknown. You have to clear a right. little bit. I mean, if, even if he returns to this, I'm not sure he's going to be anticipating Tessa's so established. Is Tessa going to be in the open or is he sitting in? He is sitting in. Okay, I was all worried with the x-ray then if he was actually out and about. But yeah, see how Crims is ready for this or not. Oh. And do you know what? It's fair enough to not be ready for that. But nice work from Tessa to hedge the bet. No BM coming out from Heroic. I was waiting for the body shots. I'll wait till Fnatic wins some rounds. Then there'll be spams in the I mean, Fnatic were. For the, the first two rounds. Bagging. Knifing mm. the bodies, they pick up extra guns, they Classic. unload all the ammo, they pick up the next gun, they do it again. <laughs> if they have enough time, they might even reload, Lauren. Um, but it's all in good fun, isn't it? It's all, oh, okay, look at this. Look at this. We've got a whole squad with the winning celebrations. Respect. Now we're talking. Let's see these boosts. So, you know what, Chad? I, it's, I've seen the boost underpass and I've seen the boost sandbags. I've not often seen them paired together with four players invested to your opening gambit. Yeah, it looked like Stown was focusing as well towards the connector in case those players were going to get run down right. and he could assist, but they didn't work that way. They were still able to convert the round, but it's good stuff to see. Heroic do take some uh, calculated risks, like that push from Tessas. Oh. I thought he was going to have more resistance there. It looks like the... Uh Short players are playing more passive this round, so he'll take that space and, and completely nullify that smoke grenade. Yeah, just to note, we talked about it during the Na'Vi game, while well, Heroic are doing a similar thing, hedging four players over towards the B bomb site at the start of the round here to deal with any rushes, any early aggression, and then your 
early warning signal, which is Cadian with the AWP, perfect. They know the timings. They know that teams aren't just going to gallivant up through bathrooms and long. So as soon as he spots and gets pressure applied, at that point, Heroic can rotate a player back over towards the A site. And there he goes. Two indeed, and they're staying very quiet about this. So not giving away any audible sound cues in case that territory had to be taken. There's always a chance, especially with Fnatic in the server here. But as you can see, they're just posturing. Now, if they can hold on to their utility for a little bit longer here, Heroic, they'll be able to defend against a late round Fnatic push and play. Because now we're down to 45 seconds left on the clock, and they haven't taken any space over towards bathrooms. I always find it curious. The, the, there's such a, like an internal clock that ticks of... Okay, suddenly I'm uncomfortable with the fact that Toilets has been open this long. Let's pull those players back over. Okay, still posting up by long. First shot doesn't quite find its target, but it does give away the game. Makes you feel a little better about where you're standing. And Dessus probably ain't feeling much better about that. The T's are on the way. CT side, 20 seconds. This is late in the day. Yeah, and Cadian is going to get caught. Great catch from Crims. That's a real way in, a real avenue. It's Tessus, fully blind, no problem. JW oh. caught in transition. Tessus holds them at bay. And Dow down to Brawl, and the babyface killer's not got time for this. Not got time for your games, and truly just has not got time. He'll grab the orb, and he'll get out of there. So heroic recover. They'll find their second. Thank you, Tessus, and thank you, Fnatic, for running that clock down so damn low. Brolin, oh, he died after time. $750 in the bank. Did he have the AWP though? I looked away just checking my stats here. Oh, you're right, maybe he threw it away. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking elsewhere. So I don't think he, he got the kill. Yeah, I don't think they were close away. enough. So he would have saved the AWP and okay, probably Tristan dropped that away. for somebody else here. We're getting the tail end of that. Yeah. Once again, that nice little water bottle there. Have a nice day. So Tessa seems like a... Cool dude. But he's got a live, love, live, live, love, laugh sign above his door. I was literally going to say the same thing. I want that bottle instead. <laughs> I'm pretty, really sure, it's, the I'm pretty sure the sign behind him, take a look next time, says uh, eat, sleep, frag, repeat. Oh, that's equally as inspired. Wasn't that... Um, it was a song. It was a DJ. I can't remember. Yeah, Same as UK repeat. DJ. Uh, eat, yeah. Eat, came sleep, up with. Rave, repeat. People seem to just rip that off and not credit it. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what else is interesting is this little push-up. He's not quite having much of a time with it. Roland's trying to make that all find a place, but not to be instantly CT's fall back here. And he has to get something done with it, right? Alex pointed out exactly why holding on to this AWP and not getting the loss bonus is going to hamper his buy in the following round. So if they can do some damage to the CT sided economy with this, job done. Winning a round, very difficult. He's not known to be an AWPer. He's got a good shot at this one, though. Baited in by pistols. Oh, oh, oh. I love this setup. You've seen timing. this one work wonderfully many times. Cadian, Tessus, Orpa, M4 tends to have a very, very powerful combination. You can, they can pivot, cover both avenues. Tessus dares really trying to escape, oh. but he's caught in transition, nade in his hand. And that's an M4 for them to recover as well. Don't forget, Brolin, they were trying to set him up over the smoke. He still holds that weapon, but at 20 seconds, Katie needs one. And he doesn't get any. It's down to Nico. 15 seconds. A frag onto Flusher pretty much does sign the notice. And that's the end. Orp upgrade found. And so is the round. 3-3. Three, three, heroic leveling things up with three of their own. So Brolin now only has 3150. So if he wants to go for a Galil, that's possible. He might get dropped across a gun, or he could go for a Tech 9 with armor and a full set of nades. But there's the opening. This was just against the pistols. It did get a bit precarious. A few frags going awry right there that didn't necessarily have to. But things are starting to look good for Heroic. So if they're able to tame Fnatic in the way that they want to be approaching these T rounds, especially the gun rounds, which we'll be getting into very, very shortly. Any more pets? I didn't see any. Very upset. Okay. So Brolin's been dropped an AK and Golden's taken a UMP. So the sacrifice from the in-game leader giving his star the rifle. You love to see it. Cadian's out on an island. Oh! That's a banger. He's got a raft to get out. He doesn't mind. Gets away. Gets the perfect start for Heroic. Yeah, that's Yikes. definitely going to leave a mark. JW. Nade's looking good. Is there a second where that came from? Yes, there is. Borup. He, uh, he's just going to throw his full nade set, I imagine, trying to do get something before he goes down. And now... Well, they've certainly revealed where two members of Fnatic are. You can't deny that. Spray from Tessus even connecting. The nade will follow. They're doing a great job of keeping Fnatic at bay, or at least not making these trades go unresponded. Unresponded? Yeah. Yeah, that's a word. Good job, Alex. Learning the English language. 
Step by step, bro. I'll have it when, by the time I'm 60, I reckon. I don't think I'll be there. Uh, I just say big words and people think I'm smart deep down. No idea what they mean. Just hope they work. Stone. Yeah, I unequivocally agree with you that. Yes. Double stack towards mon monster. <laughs> Kind of say monster. Uh, Tess is kind of keeping a bit of a tab between both. Maybe feeling there's something up here, and they're right to be feeling as such. On that other side of the smoke, two players wait. Oh, oh. oh the timing was like three seconds off. Now they push, and now they die. Down, Tessus, fill the feed. Coming in from short, free fire necessary. Down, looking like a turret and heroic. A clean, open and shut fourth. That's four in a row as well. I will remind you, it was Fnatic to pick up the pistol and convert the following two. So now, Heroic on a full round spree. So as you take note of the CT hold that we're seeing come out here, it is KD and given a lot of responsibility over to, that was such Eesh. a huge opening right there. A lot of responsibility over towards that A site. Tessus is the player who's in swing, helping him out when they are playing a two-man A setup. Then you have the turrets, Stown and Bow up, the little aim stars, mm. locking down B. That's what you want. Exactly like Alex was saying, they can just hammer away. And then Nico, as we heard from Golden in the pregame interview, he plays unorthodox uh, style in certain scenarios. And when you're the rotator, that's what you want to see, pushing through smokes, pushing through mollies, going for these kind of fights that you wouldn't be expecting to unravel the T-side approach. Wow. The T-side approach this time round, it's a bunch of deagles. Golden has gone for the utility. Hasn't even upgraded himself into a P250. I love the fact they fell back so far. Mm -hmm. I think they either saw the pistols or something, and they just fell the hell away from that. There was no sticking around. There's a window for that orb peak for Cadian, where if they have gone close to the, the wall, he has a tiny window, and Crims has found his. Perhaps into the A site as well. The orb are gone. Great one dig to start him off, and they'll throw a smoke. A little deep, I think. It's on towards the T stairs. It's not necessarily going to hold anyone at bay. And Nico is filling that gap nicely. Is he really going to whip out the zoom banger? For a touch of work. There he goes. Well, the M4 for the future wet work he has ahead of him. Cautious and very clean. Arrival on Tessa Sonnon. Couldn't have been better timed. All there, the right time. And honestly, the first shot was lovely. Uh, Kaden going down, orb suddenly open, you start getting those uh, those ideas of what Fnatic could do, but quelled so quickly by Nico. Okay, well, now Fnatic really need to start getting a move on in some of these gun rounds here. They've done some damage with the save rifles and just the pistols in play. Taking a look in the last two rounds, they were only able to grab one kill, and then the previous before that, it was two. So the money starting to build right now on the heroic side of things. The only one who's a little bit undervalued is Nico with 1400 to his name. There's no AWP in play for JW here. Smoke to extinguish the molly. That means playground control will be garnered. Kadian going aggressive. Again, so much responsibility on his shoulders here. Yeah, he's a lone wolf. Completely isolated from the pack. As I say that, that makes a whole lot more sense. Tessus in pursuit. This will pretty much determine the round here, folks. So keep your eyes locked on this part of the map. You've got three members in the bomb. Golden responsible for that. You're always going to have a flash. That's why Tessus finds himself anti. And Cadian's job will be, if he is flashed, pull the trigger, take cover, let Tessus fill the gap. Looks like they're going elsewhere. They're oh even going God. long side of toilets. My God. Okay, so Tessus will keep his back safe and Cadian will take the shot. He misses it. Caught in transition and both of them fall. Fnatic can flood and the rotate's on as well. Nico, you know he was so... Si so uh, influential with the first rotate, but this time it's not pistols he's going up against. He's got the full rifles. Numbers advantage for Fnatic as they start to throw out their nades. Notice how Nico pushes forward here to give information and allow the rotation for his teammates not to have to focus on the bathroom area of the map. Stown, listening to Nico, mm -hmm. is in between rotations right here. He's not going to be there to oh. stop the long push. He's not there in time. Oh god, they still think it's B? They're, they're still considering? And Nico's position is excellent. You said it, you highlighted it, the information it gives, but also the frags it can bring. But Brolin and Flusher are a little bit better at the moment. Bomb can be planted. The bore up feeling a mile away it does take down Flusher, but also takes a boatload of damage for it. Yeah, that was almost enough to just force him out of the round, I'm afraid. Can't really contest with such low HP. Good play from Nico, though. I really like the fact he had that trigger discipline, identified the bomb player, killed the bomb without going down. Definitely had legs, but Fnatic, that's the first round we've seen from them after the initial burst of three. So they stop the spree before it gets out of control. 
was five consecutive rounds from Heroic. And let's just quickly take stock out after their five round spree. I'm seeing Tessus and Nico, largest contributors at 11 frags apiece. Uh, and interestingly enough, the other standout is Stown. Now he's only got six frags, but keeping up in the ADR at uh, 66 after that round's conclusion. This is Fnatic's map. Worth reminding you, Heroic certainly no slouch. I, I think there was actually a couple of big oopsies from them in that loss you mentioned, Chad. Not the complexity win. Who did they lose to? Big, big. Clan? Yeah. It was in the DreamHack finals, wasn't it? And I remember a lot of people uh, in, from the analyst circles criticizing Heroic in, in a sense of an, an air of choke, an air of overly pressured and not mm. delivering their best on this map. So perhaps there's more. Yeah, and it's a map that they haven't played a lot in terms of competitive environment. Maybe they've practiced it a lot. We don't know. But in terms of on paper, there's yeah. only two results so Fnatic can only look into what we can and okay Flusher opens things up it's down on that secondary AWP didn't work so well for him last round but this time we'll find a very nice trade and that's immediately put Fnatic having to head back over towards A so they have to deal with this up close and personal position of Tessus here being overseen by Cadian nice I like this little crossfire switch up. It's been long presence before. It didn't work out. Here's a new look. But it does mean no eyes on long, and Fnatic have liked to dabble with it. We'll see. Oh, the run boost. Love it. We saw that with, I think, G2, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of those. And now we're seeing a lot of contact. That's a great starter, and it still plays in testers. They know they're really going long. on the flank. He's a he will have heard the run boost, and now he can have the fastest flank ever for long. He's even going to spot JW running over. The call should be perfect. I don't think Fanatic are going to believe this, but Nico, he hasn't quite managed to make it over there. This is an open site. It is a bank plant, but Tessus is the loose we thread, need this. and he hasn't got it. So much information squandered, and now the spray's not there either. Maybe Stown can find something. Nico does eventually finish off his uh, meal. It's time for dessert. 2v2 retake. I'm, I'm amazed, but I guess the timing wasn't there. JW showing his absolute veteran status. Not going to let this slip. Nico's been doing wonderfully. Not going to have anything this time. Um, good resurgence there, but the timing on that flank, there, there was just that clock, I guess, internally, right? I want to put this more on Kaden. I've been saying he's had so much responsibility over towards that A site on his own. Well, he's had a buddy this time round. They've even found the opening, and he went and picked long. Here's the pick right here from JW onto Kaden. A little bit unlucky. He was dipping away from the flash, but potentially not necessary because he knew long was already given up. That rotation time, they were running. He was running. They get there at the same time, and Kaden going down, that that was the problem right there. Tessus's flank, all they had to do was contain. All they had to do was hold them in position. Maybe an overextension right there, not expecting that full commitment. But what this means for Heroic is an eco. So this could be very, very catastrophic going forward. Fnatic now definitely looking to get number six on the board. And if they pile anything more on after that, that's a big half. I love Flusher pulling out the Mac 10. Mm. You know that after this util set, he might even find himself in his own smoke. Certainly not out of the realms of possibility. He's got sound cues for days. He just tends to find his own timing. He just heard someone run out of USP bullets bounding across. Three players identified. That's info. And it looks like Hadian is going to meet JW's orb. Oh. Starting to get a bit red hot. That sniper barrel. The just BM making is sure juicy. he's dead. Uh, a double tap in the movie. We call them love taps now, Lauren. It's not it's love not bad taps. manners. It's just it's it's friendly love taps. Spreading love. Okay. Peace you love tap your friends often, or is it mostly enemies? Uh, normally enemies. I see. Yeah. Just, just trying to find out the the kind of vibe to it. Uh, Brolin though on towards the site. Down is there, and I normally wouldn't be too worried about a USP, but it does outdo the orb. I guess that's a a battle you don't really love. Um, but Tessus, the 1v3, a Mac 10, no armor. Oh, <laughs> ah, the glass cannon Mac 10, Lauren. Let me tell you about that. Give me a story here, oh, Alex. It's a, it's a, it's a story of, of odds and them not being in his favor. And uh, that's pretty much where the story ends, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, he will walk onto the site. He has got no kit and he has got three armored T's staring at his one of two options. And <laughs> it's ended with a very nice Glock headshot. Golden does shake his screen and converts for the sixth. This is JW's second as well. That was a lovely adjustment, just keeping his aim warm. Juicy. He was very much the largest contributor in that Fnatic frag as well onto uh, Tessus in the round prior, which threw Heroic into that eco.
So there is a clear weakness that has been identified from Fnatic here. And Lauren, you were talking about it before, their affinity with going towards a long. There was the setup with Tessus and Kadian postured forward. One player at the tree looking towards the bathrooms. Kadian scoped up on playground. That crossfire didn't work fantastically. The setup we just saw in the previous gun round, it wasn't too bad. But the timing, maybe a little bit of overcommitment right there, losing them the round. Now here, you, you lose up short. There's no AWP in play for the CTs. I mean, your N2 frag is an AWP on short. Uh, for the tease. Meta breakers, Lauren, remember? Oh He's not going to check Lord. this. He's not going to check it. Watch JW look you? up. Hello. Um, bye bye. That is a very curious headache you're going to have. Yeah, he's going to have trouble explaining that one. Cadian, though, with the alligator patrolling the sewers. Something about Florida. And they're actually being alligators in the sewers. Oh, yeah. They're everywhere. And they're big boys down there. They love it. Okay, so this one's going to stall out a little bit. Cadian's repositioned. His feet are going to be spotted here if he's not careful. Can't go wide. Oh, he gets another. I just sound like Left 4 Dead here. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Flush is doing the flashbang dance with Bora, but looks like he should have got the better of him. JW should have him on the cross. A flash and a peek. He's going for it. Bora up ahead of it. Wow, Heroic have got some fraggers here. Cadian with the auto shot, he has almost contributed enough. I don't know what Crims can really do about this one. No bomb. No hope, no time, 30 seconds. He'll be walking through underpass, perhaps even to, into another $900 kill for Cadian. Just, it just, it makes me just hear the words pills here. You know what I mean? It's just like left for dead all over again. <laughs> There's a zombie. And <laughs> there he goes. Beautiful work, coach. Uh, Cadian, three kills. And as you said, very valuable kills. The Orpa, couldn't be better. You love to see that. Could not be better. What's nine times three, Lauren? Hang on, I've got my fingers. Uh -huh. 27. So that's two thousand seven hundred dollars. Let's see in, this in Valorant, right? There's Here we game. go. Um, and we talk about economy uh -huh. uh, and jet broken agent, uh -huh. really garbo. Yeah. Um, but every opa opa <laughs> uses her. Um, and when they can't afford an AWP, they pick up a shotgun because you can close gaps in that game because it's a bit cheesy. Uh huh. Um, but it does give you a lot of money. So there is definitely some method in the madness. Get look at that straight away, Cadian, because of his good fragging, has been able Ooh. to buy himself his weapon of choice. Now, this does, le this does reek of a full BX sec, but I'm only seeing one, two smoke grenades. But look okay. at Tessus. Look where he's positioned already. Never mind. <laughs> Crim says, no, I will not look. God's down. You're in trouble, aren't you? Good pre-fire. He knows they're everywhere. He just oh. wildly sprays. I think he landed something into J-Dubs. Tessus on the flank is your right, Chad, but they're already in. That frag onto Borup was the go. The green flag. And now in pursuit of the checkered one. JW low. Knife out. That's important. That does give Heroic a bit of a chance back into this. Cadian saving already. Is he really? Yeah, I'm sorry to spoil the party, oh, but he on. has dropped all the way back oh, yeah. towards long. And that will be the sign for Tessus to get out of dodge as well. So, ah, look, Heroic, they are going for these more audacious CT-sided setups, but a few times it really just hasn't panned out for them. Not being able to lock down there on B and trade out efficiently means the retake is not going to happen. There's no defuse kit on the two of these individuals to make it work with. And Fnatic have now jumped up to seven rounds on the board here. It's not great from Heroic. If they can stay even, if they can grab another round in this half, split the difference, try and get it as close as humanly possible. It's competitive. It's how you need it to be. Will they go for the buy behind these two saved guns, though? Yes, they will. Tessus drops across one, buys himself up another, burrow up onto the Famous. Stown, what are you going to buy, my friend? Mm. How much are the shotguns? Because, <laughs> I mean, it worked. Acadian. MP9. So, oh. look, pound for pound, best gun in the game right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, literally. Okay. Ooh. So we can expect big things. If he, if he uses it right. Oh, okay. Is is that not every gun? Yeah, but I love that caveat. You can't argue with it. <laughs> it's indisputable. Sweeping statements. Yeah. We love them. Indisputable. Wall bang. Problem for J-Dubs. He's going to be hunted as well. Look at Tessus. The nade not killing him. He gives them enough info that he's gone up the ladder. They can take the space. <gasps> and just before the flash pops, Tessus does well. Gets his cross in the right direction. We have a one-man advantage, but they have the sight. Does it matter? No bomb plan. Oh, Krim's going forward here. Is Kadian going to be ready for this? I think there must be a timer on this cold from Kadian. He's going to start getting paranoid. I don't think oh, he is. I'm not even considering really it. really should be. Yep, that works too. Except the bomb can go A now. It really can. Oh, oh. Does he make the call? He's going to get a double kill. Watch this. 
Crims, so clean. And now the site's wide open. This is an angle. It's nearly the double. Nico has to clutch it out. Oh, it's a race for Monster. He's got the bomb. Got the smoke down as well. Crims, that oh. the weapon is not the orc for this, surely. Okay, grabs the AK. We've got a weird 1v1, folks. Potentially being the round that differentiates between playoffs or elimination, and it comes down to one player for either side. Distinct advantage for Nico, despite his low HP. That bomb is his, and he's even thrown a molly on it. At what point, Chad, if you had to guess, does, can he just run away? Oh, it doesn't even oh. come into it. It's a jewel. And that low HP echoes into Nico's mind. He took the jewel. He perhaps didn't need to. Cost him. And that's eight for Fnatic on the T Bloody side. Hell. That one got real dicey there for a moment. So Crim's completely bowed them out of that situation with this push. 2v4. Yeah, and, and just unawares that it was even a possibility was Katie and Ant for good reason, right? You're not expecting that type of play to come through every day of the week, finishing off just there. And now it's heroic in the last round of the first half with a cobbled together bye. We've got UMP, Deagles, MP9, and Katie and back on that alligator once more, the auto shotgun for those of you playing and listening on the wireless. Probably with Rush. Doing his AM broadcast, I think there it is. There he is. I've got some really uh, uncomfortable facts for you guys I'll be in sewing throughout the next half. Uncomfortable? Yeah, I'll give you a couple examples. Um, a little dash. Wasps can remember people's faces. And the average person forms 400 friendships, but only 33 last. So just leave, we'll start with those. Plenty more where that came at the from. Friends one, but I really don't like the wasp one. I don't know what it says about me. Mate, mm. uh, sad and lonely really does uh, ring true. And that horrible oh. one did it last time, not today. Minus I'm 99, sure. Kadian's raging. He's, he's, he's checking, he's not happy. He's called that he's one HP. He's gonna have to clarify that's that actually open, real. Yeah. You can see the speed on the T's though. They, they know that and they are pressing that issue now. Yeah, I mean, Borup catching Flusher on the rotate something, but into the site, pre-fire in the corners, they're calling it clear. This is gonna be a nightmare to overcome for Heroic. I mean, phew, where does it come from? I guess Tessis is AK on this flank. If he can nullify the toilet's position, if him and his partner in crime, Borup, can make it so the after plant can't be played from here comfortably, there's something. Baited in by Borup, gets the first. I see anticipating a second around the back. There's even two of them. Oh. He's so exposed to them. It's all hinging on Tessus, and he's not even considered it. That's the frag that potentially wins them this round. Nicely done, wasn't it? Composed. We'll throw some cliches of old back in there. Heroic, the pistol round right now, extremely important. If they can convert this one, this game's on like Donkey Kong. Even rolled it back to the bloody, what was it on? <laughs> the cabinets. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I'm afraid I was just the, the post-arcade era for me. They were already kind of dusty and full of smelly people when I arrived. Not the passionate gamer kids that it used oh, to have. I don't think any of us are really in the arcade era. I don't know. Chad keeps saying he's old. Oh, he's not that old. He likes to ham it up for sympathy reasons and to not stay relevant with current culture. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm glad we got that all ironed out. <laughs> we can get into Bye the for everybody. Break. All right. <laughs> Told you it was therapy, didn't you, Chad? Yeah. Sorry, I like your Street Sharks t-shirt. I went back and watched some of it recently. Good. Really didn't understand the storyline back then, just looked at the cool sharks. Um, yeah. Same with Biker Mice from Mars, very different to what I remember. This is a weird round from the tees. They've got themselves go. smokes two flashes, get Borup set up for the plant. JW's got a smoke of his own design. Now he can disappear in that, or even jump on top of that. He's gone. Should mean the plant on Optimus. Maybe be even a safer plan. Okay, so Borup with Cadian's position has opted to plant there. Makes sense. Rotate into bank from Golden. Tessus, head on a swivel. Grimm's tucking in. Is he the only one from behind? He is. Three of the four. Heard, I think. On the way in. And Cadian's little off angle jiggles as well. Spotted by Stown. This is flawless. I think it might stay that way. Oh Tony God. Flusher, Beautiful. low. Oh, go on, go on. The taste. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tessus just goes up five points in my player chart. Just I like try it. to yeah. knife Flusher. I like it. I like it. Showing some tenacity right there. Hey, uh, hey, Green, you with us? Green. Hello. How frustrating is it when they're taking jewels at the same time oh, in three different parts Oh, I tell you what, it's pretty annoying. If only Crim just walks out and dies, and then I can just go back to the side and have a great time. But no, no, no. no. I had an angry email, Rush. That's how I deal oh, with things I will. these days. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Straight to, straight to the boys. Sam Matthews. <laughs> Hi, Rushly123456 here. You may have heard me recently on my radio broadcast. <laughs> I want to do a podcast with Rush. Yeah? Yeah, we just have to about. fly him out to the luncheon. Yeah, he's going to be the fourth member. 
All right, well, it is the Force Buy from Fnatic here. Scout in the hands of JW can tag up and do a lot of damage, but Heroic seem to be doing their best Fnatic cosplay, going over towards Long very, very early. It's down over towards the backyard of B. He's just dealing with any pushes there, and then Nico, he's sweeping late, making sure they're out in his flanks. And the tag will go awry there. JW doesn't hit the shot. Sorry, it made me jump. <laughs> You're really invested sometimes, and it's quite adorable. It's really embarrassing. Oh, he's oh. flubbed it. He can go again. This is a cool flash. I do. Oh. That, okay, so that's not a cool flash. The idea What's was the cool. There? Uh, you throw it on that side of the APC, it's a really surprising yeah. angle for the guys on long. I saw Dennis do it first. It's kind of hard to turn away from because you can't see it being Precisely, the yeah, exactly. But that uh, somehow was really difficult for JW. Unfortunately, no ramifications, nothing to get too upset about. I'm sure Ooh. someone will. Heroic really need to hope that the T uh, CTs don't push up and go for long info here. They've rotated four players over towards the top of the A site, and now there's only just one, and that's Flusher towards B. He's dropped his smoke. He's going to play in it up close and personal, and by the time that starts to clear, we're going to have roughly 25 seconds left on the clock. So Crims is back over now. We need to get a move on. Yeah, and Flusher, if he can just get himself into a tight call. Oh, how does he find that frag? Long range, make it mid range, does get one. And they're all stacked into the right places. 18 seconds, this can go a whole lot better. For Fnatic in trouble, Tessus does deal with it nicely. And now poor old Roland, he's the last on the chopping block. But my goodness, that was the finest of margins. Everyone winning their individual duel, so credit to be given, but scary stuff. I mean, do we do we all remember Fnatic with CZs? I, re I remember you telling me they're kind of viable, Tech Nines are viable. Yeah. These guys were like the cheese kings. Yeah, they they'd find their anything name. dirty and be like, let me just get the best at this for a while. They used to be Fnatic, then they were Fnatics with a Z at the end. Mm -hmm. They've tried them all, a rebrand for every sidearm of choice. But at this <laughs> point, it is just going to be Stacknade's Fountain. This is my kind of call. You're on the pistols, throw some HEs at them, grab an AK, you're gaming. Bang! Okay, now we're cooking. Tessus will grab. A couple of those shrapnel shards, and ahead of the molly, Brolin's done well there, can get traded. I love it. Big They've trade. done a lot with a little here, Lauren. That is always impressive to see someone able to do that. But a sight take on the other side. The T's are going to try and make the best of a bad scenario. Yes, that rifle is still in play. Oh, oh down. knife it's a him. disaster. Goodbye. Don't try and knife flush it, because look what happens. Well, there's real trouble now. Yeah, I mean, Kaden's legit in trouble. He's in jeopardy. They've got AKs coming for him. They're double peeking him. Flush has got the AK, Kaden. Oh, he solved the mystery. Fnatic were going for it, and it was enough. It was enough. They don't have kits. He's just got to survive now, and Kaden is going to be found by Crims, but he hasn't really got the time. It's planted for Borup. He's safe. And that is a spectacular round from both squads. I mean, I'll give credit to Kadian for stopping that getting out of control, yeah. but credit to Fnatic for getting it there. Let's see how that started. So the first nade slows him down. He can't really escape. Flusher does flusher things and actually gets a full $1,500 injected into his account. Kadian saves the day, though. That long-range UMP, had he not found it, could very well be talking about the 10th round for Fnatic there. That could have been, yeah, crazy dangerous. I think they need to be... Uh counting their lucky stars that they're able to convert that one, all things considered. But that knife is going to facilitate a little bit of extra cash. JW will have that AWP. And they're not actually going for anything early towards A. You can see this. The CTs have already dropped back, both playing through long. So the rotation over towards B if the hit comes in now will be very, very far away. Did Crims uh, catch him? I don't think so. They might not clear this. The walk. How many are going short? Or up will surely get this frag oh. now into the site. Golden, he's only going to get the one, and Heroic, they just fill the feed. There's only two of them left. We're still just barely beginning this round, but it looks like it's Tessus who wants to end it. He wants the double digits first. Heroic sees the lead with a one-map advantage already. Fnatic, they're going to have six opportunities here to stop Heroic from the run and the elimination here in the lower bracket of ESL1 Cologne. So one thing to note here as this second half does progress, Brolin, aggressive A long plays is something that has bailed Fnatic out in the past. He can almost hold that part of the map by himself and something that Heroic will need to negate if they want to get this done in two. So look out for that. Look out for how the ebbs and flows of, of that side of the map go. But this early was clearly just a target attack on that B bomb site, and it was very, very clean. They've kept four alive, better than what they did in the previous. <laughs> And they've been able to scavenge the AWP and make sure that it's in the hands of the T side. So you can see this shot right here. That's Aww. the robot aim that we're talking about, right? These little... It makes sense now. Yeah. I don't normally win that fight. I'm not seeing... I'm not used to seeing that fight go that way. 
Krim potentially had a double right there. So the frustration that you're seeing, it's it's due. It is definitely it due. Sense. He made a massive play there to be able to stop that. And if he had had one frag, he completely unravels that attack. Everybody can just focus on monster. You can see here the sandwich comes in. And now the eco, Lauren. I was a little worried that Nade might have given it away because the way it bounced, maybe they caught it, but no one seemed to even looking towards that direction. And you're right. Uh, pistols galore. We do have the saved rifle. Uh, Roland still got that, but... All other indicators should Ooh. highlight this. And, and looking at Tessa, he, he has a good enough read. There's that triple nade coming in. Clears it out. And it's just a straight up stack. And they should feel this out pretty soon. There has been nothing thrown back towards B here. And you're about to see the power of a default because... Because of Tessus's patience, as they call B clear, Tessus will surely keep himself poised. Yeah, exactly. He'll be able to completely and totally pinpoint where the stack and where the funny business has been going. It looks like Fnatic have been so patient that it doesn't even get caught out. They will continue. I mean, I guess they still have to clear, like, the water side of B. Yeah, you that's know what it. I mean? Like, that's it, really? And even then, they're being very cautious, considering. But you said these guys are meticulous, right? I'm not sure exactly if... Fnatic will go for this, or they'll just go for exits to see if they can grab some guns. As you can see here on the right-hand side of your screen, ladies and gentlemen, the money is going to be in a place where Fnatic can buy in the next round. So they maybe are just trying to stop Heroic from getting extra cash from finding the kills, take guns away themselves. Eco sees the barrel. We'll take Flusher out of the equation here. JW's turn to step up to the plate. Like that little molly, just to slow it down by a bit of time. And Eco's making him work for it. Again, this is against pistols. You've got to feel normally pound for pound. He's probably right there. But if you've got the util, why not do it? Make him work for that meal, which he certainly is. Okay. Well, bit of a stalemate here. You keep what you've got. We'll keep what we've got. Uh, Crim's trying his luck there. Tessus will punish him once more. Tessus has 20 kills. Is that? Did I see that right? He's been popping, I don't know if it's 20. It is. Ayo. Him and Nico, 38 frags. Tessus is a real revelation in this team because coming in, I would have been expecting the likes of Stown to be the star. Obviously, Nico and Tessus are the two more recent additions to join Burrow up and Cadian. And it's Nico and Tessus who are the ones leading the charge here. 107 ADR for Nico, 18 kills to his name. Tessus with 20 frags and 91 points of ADR. So, whew, they are getting a lot done here today. And we might have to start worrying about Fnatic if they don't convert this round right here. Round Double ups. 21. Switch it up. You gotta hope this one sticks and you don't lose them, otherwise you're feeling a little worse for wear. Oh, and they glimpse. just caught that knee. Mm. They flashed for the door open. They did, and now Hell. it's just it's very well calculated. I'm really enjoying the Counter-Strike Kuroka playing right now. Oh, but Rup just naded himself. That was a CT nade, I think. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty Trail sure. looked blue. Uh, Watch your back. Sorry, just I'll bet you... I think I it can, was an underhand one. I I'll bet you a bit. In it it nice. was uh, both nades. He naded himself and the CG's oh. nade. Both right. Okay. That was, that was always the catch-all for my mother. You're both right. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> but on who's mostly right here is the T so far until this. Krim stands tall on the site and stops it being so easy. But look where that bomb is. It ain't over here. It's heading all the way back round towards hmm. the other bomb side, over towards A. But it's kind of reset the pace. They have to clear everything on the way. He certainly do. And with Cadian on that AWP, he is going to be their way in. Tessus, if you're really going for a long walk on that bomb, bang on. Careful. Just yeah, you just just let that contact start from toilets. And that seems to be the case because Cadian and Nico are walking up. Barrel will be visible shortly. Twenty nine seconds. Cadian has a smoke and a flash here. This can work. Here they come. Smoke to play around. Tessus needs to be cautious here because JW's playing it to perfection around the smoke, but he just sprays wildly. And a great angle what? found by Nico. They're looking spot on for another round here. 12. And it's running away with it. This is heroic, essentially, not stopping since the pistol of this half. Wow. You know, like heads clean. up fights? They're just, they're, they're so clean. They're, they're I, I, I watch them and they have like everything. They've got those great flashes at the start, nice utility, lovely rotations, but then they also have Tessus like ripping off heads. Yeah, and it seems to be doing it, you know, with a, a bottle of water and a clean desktop, which have is a nice a day, good sign. smiley face. Have a nice day. Like, honestly, he should bind that to his keyboard. Like, that would, like, he just bangs oh, you out yeah. on site, have a nice day, smiley face, just spams yeah. it. Yeah. Hydrate, oh. everybody. Nico's reminding you, make sure yep. you're getting your water. Okay, you need to get uh, two liters a day. 
you can do a little bit more than that, that's not too bad either. But make sure you're keeping yourself hydrated. It makes a big difference. Yes. You do feel very different if you've had enough liquid. But it's actually quite hard to focus on your focus if you're not able to focus. So just make sure you're hydrated so that you can focus on how much you're focused. Does that make sense? It doesn't, but... Uh, <laughs> Neither Joke um, uh, aside, I do want to talk about the fact that JW underhanding that smoke on site. <laughs> The, the presence of mind and so many t tier one players fall into the trap of lizard smoke it's and the wall. It's a wall. Yep. And so just seeing Testis's you know cognition of there could be a CT in that. So he is fast. He does miss his chance. Does he escape? No one to contest, and he's out. So that's a huge win for Fnatic. The fact that he's not only gone for the fight. Sure, he hasn't converted it, but you don't lose your orb in connector. He's not lost in limbo. It's down, aggressing. They're on the SMGs here, so there is some sacrifices in the Fnatic roster that could be exploited. I feel like there's going to be a bit of feeling out from Heroic in a round like this. And remember, when they were versing G2 on Mirage, this is about the point of where they started to fumble. True. So let's see if they can maintain that focus you were talking about and close the door on Fnatic on their map pick and get this done 2-0. Was ever a discussed point of potentially choking maps and what have you? Again, this was what DreamHack conversations a while ago. What's Tessus doing with just a Glock? Having a sick day. I guess he dropped a gun and forgot to buy. I've had that happen to me a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot of money to to be just chilling with. But I guess he can just pick up a gun that's dropped. It's yeah. alright. He'll work it. He used to take Brolins. Take Brolins. I like that plan. That's confidence. And with just the Glock, perhaps it would have been a whole lot easier. Thankfully, it doesn't spiral. Imagine, just imagine, had long been lost. It's not. And the game is on. Covers a smoke. That's going to be um, the fourth for the T side. So they've got plenty to play with. But with 20 seconds, they don't have seconds to play with. I'm getting nervous here. Flusher, he knows what he's got to do. Fight them actively. They're taking the bomb elsewhere. Nico, a great shot with the pre-fire. They have time? 10, just about, if they all rotate off. And they have. Look at that. Oh it's God. wide open. This is ratty as hell. My goodness, straight from the sewers. Heroic. Get themselves a bomb plant. Forcing the rotate Nico's frag has enabled all of this to happen. I don't know what just happened. Oh my god, this round is chaos, Lauren. No kit. There's no kit. Plays him in the flames. No kit. Chad's bang on. This is a good start from Cadian. JW burnt down to two. This is madness. They may have to save. They can't get back in. Unless... It, there's no kit. JW's 2 HP. Woo! Yeah, okay. No Time. kit. You're right. He hasn't got that chance unless he just wall banged him right there, right then. And so he'll take the tag. He won't get the frag. And it does look like he's going destined with the bomb. for a body bag. Oh, uh, he's away. He's away. Oh, jeez, I thought he was far enough away there in the corner, but that's the loss of the AWP. And because that was a force buy from Fnatic here, nobody on the team has enough. This is a Tessa situation, seeing if he could get back to buy an AK <laughs> in time. Unfortunately, not the case. Shot. What did he do to him? Oh, it looked much Gosh. more ridiculous on my POV. That's great from J-Dubs, but it was, of course, all in vain. And that was insane. Heroic. What a call. It's very important that they didn't lose that round. Imagine if they lost because Tessas didn't get a kill. He even had the assist yep. there on Brolin towards Long. Yep. And because he didn't have a rifle, they're lucky they're able to convert that. And look at this. Backs against the wall. Half by coming out from Fnatic here. A shotgun in play from JW. This is vintage. Yeah, watch this be the round they pull across the line, Lauren. You ready for some Nova action? I mean, we've already seen the auto. Why not show me the rollback? I guess not. Today. Nico's not having it. He's, he, he don't want this. I was trying to think of the uh, rap from the Ninja Turtles, and it's Splinter. Splinter, yes. Yeah. yeah. I was, was going to try and make something happen with it. Didn't really come into time, but... Not to be confused with Shredder, his arch no. nemesis. He was cool. I thought Shredder was a cool one, but he always made bad choices, and it really annoyed me. I always want the villain to win. Yeah, bad guys make bad choices. Yeah. It's a shame. I know. And sometimes, historically, Fnatic were the bad guys. People love to hate them. But my God, were they damn good during their heydays. The, the highs were almost untouchable. I think, you know, the, the rain they had, even at Cologne. I mean, I remember, we, we all remember the Virtus Pro having to walk out on the stage. Old Taz being yeah. very gracious. But uh, today, it's a different Fnatic. It's a different era. And right now... They are struggling here. Dead in the water, Brolin outnumbered, outgunned, and outplayed. Overwhelmed towards A. Fnatic trying to claw something back with these Deagles, trying to make something happen. And almost no damage done. Yeah, they're looking really nonchalant at times here, heroic. Like this, 
This is a team that's drills and its homework is starting to really pay dividends. Crims, however, with one. It is only one. And two rounds away from eliminating Fnatic as a stepping stone to playoffs. That is something to be proud of for Heroic. But Chad, you raised a really good point. Last time we saw Heroic with this kind of opportunity, it started to slip away in that third map Ooh. on Mirage. Crims out of his chair. Definitely starting to feel the frustration. King of Kings, Crims has fallen. And uh, taking a look at the Orte. scoreboard as well. You can see that he's currently riding a reasonable That's 16 really frags. Five kills separating top from bottom from Fnatic, so no real uh, standout Ace one way change. or the other. Oh. Down, he's just holding the W in pursuit of the same. Look at him, he's in the sight. He is Flusher. found by Flusher and a second as well. Cadian following suit, they want to commit to this. Tess is in trouble and Flusher, he's pulling some magic out of her hat. It's Nico to silence him, but there's so many more around this site. Is he ready for that? No. Crims does get the bomb loose and puts Cadian into a dire situation. I don't think you can ignore those barrels. Whether the molly missed, whether the nades weren't there, whatever it was, it didn't work out. And now, as I said, 1v3 surrounded on most fronts. He's going to need something pretty spectacular to dig any sort of avenue in. He's sitting on 10k. He's fine for dollar bills. Heroic's got it all. But does he want to give it up? So he's going to be playing the long game here. I think Golden did catch the sound cue. As you can see, him suddenly have a bit of a new lease of freedom. So taking this space is huge. As soon as he clears this, the other two individuals on the team can actually rotate back towards the A bomb site. They're stuck where they are right now, but Golden can give the signal. JW's on the move. Krim should be any moment. Just making sure he hasn't snuck through the back lines and he's been spotted. There it is. Oh, man. No, this is perfect if he actually catches... Oh, if he goes down yeah, connector yeah, yeah, now... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think he's... I mean, obviously, we're sitting here with hindsight and x-ray, so we can kind of sit there and get excited about the potential. But uh, with 20 seconds left, it seems like Cadian, knowing his plan was foiled, has opted for underpass. Golden's played this to the perfection, though, because he's just not giving him the fight should he find it. And no time now. he'll just go ahead and get the kill. He, he could had Golden overextended, had Golden gone for that look a little earlier. But very well calculated by in-game leader, Golden. Puts double digits on the board for Fnatic, and I can't believe I'm saying this, that is the first Fnatic round of the second half. Yeah, it has been what? few and far between, hasn't it? Didn't that just feel like a bit of a weird error on site take, though? Why did they ignore barrels? I well, know it was flashed, but yeah, I was I mean, watching it clear, back. Right? I was watching it back to see if uh, there was meant to be a Molotov, if it was misthrown. No, I think they were just having faith in the flashes to keep that player completely blind. Flasher did huh. look down, so he maybe found a good timing. So you have to look to him there for being the reason they could get through. But look at this buy on the side of things. For Fnatic, it's still not fantastic. They don't have everything they need. A UMP in the hands of Flusher here. Serviceable for the man. But if Heroic, they don't keep this one interesting, you need to be getting at least three frags to keep that money low. Fnatic can start building back into this. This B hits everything. Uh, Flusher's got a great incendiary down. It's going to burn the toes of twos down in, but low. I wonder if he can get the bomb down. Crims can't contest. Have they got nades? Mm -mm. Oh, no, I'm they do boy. not. That bomb should be in trouble. He's going to get flushed out appropriately by Golden and Flusher. Still two of them, though. And if they find this one pick, it really does open things up. And they're almost negating the player on site. Looking towards ABC, they find Golden. But now, Kaden needs to work out where these players are. That's one. He needed a clean second. <gasps> Oh, I thought there was a world where JW wasn't going to have enough Bloody bullets. He was hell. peppering him with the USP. All good. Cadian finding the long-range Tech 9. But they hit that number I was talking about, right? Make sure you're killing at least three or four players every single round because once again, the buy isn't going to be fantastic. Flush did a great job there. That damage he did to Stown, well, we saw what it meant. And here it is. Tap, tap, tap. Away she goes. Cadian does drop there, but a costly round. So they get another crack at it. Now it's an MP9 and a UMP. The buy is getting worse and worse. They need Look what three they've done here, Chad. Again. You're going to love this. They got 10k in the bank. They're going three Mac 10s into B. That is a change of pace, and that could have ramifications. Flusher, he wasn't ready. He pulls the pin. Golden solves the problem. Four to four. Crims is blind in the smoke. He doesn't know what's going on, and neither do I. Tessas cleans up two. Finally found by J-Dubs, but damage inflicted. Weapons upgraded. Bomb not planted yet. Stown has a smoke, and that bomb is down thanks to Borup. It's not yet. Crims finally shows his hand. It doesn't come up roses this time. Borup. Now unleashed on the site. A little bit more freedom. Boost, maybe? Yes. Brolin's going to be up and over in a second, maybe. 
Crimson play up short, the double stack towards water. Cadian's way in the open. Okay, two players remain. Oh, they're going to get isolated here. Borob needs to actually have some mad frags. Oh, and that's a perfect start. Just the Orpa finds his head, taking his time. Don't want to give him the frags down. Desperately takes his hands off the keyboard. Just don't peek, don't peek. It's all he's saying. JW trying to get the double peek. Won't have it. We'll have to back away. And Heroic. I can't believe they made that call. They are in pursuit of him. JW oh, trying to keep hold of his big green. To the right, he's gone. Just a Glock in his hands towards Banky Pivot. Might have it, might oh. have it! Oh. oh! And that's the loss of the AWP. They got 3K, they got peanuts, and they got 12 grand in the bank. Heroic, you said they had to maintain, Chad. That's fantastic. That pressure, what they've applied, that MAC-10 rush onto the B site. Some people might look at it as madness when they could have all bought into AKs, but look at the space. Look at what they take away here. And then Borups, they're poised in the pit right here. That's a massive frag. JW with the AWP has to find two. Impossible. And the AWP's taken away. So right now, Fnatic, CZs, shotguns. It's the best they've got. This is their tournament life. This is it. This was on their map and suddenly they're looking at 15 rounds against them and they're left in tatters of a purchase. This has got to be heartbreaking. Yeah, I mean, we heard the interview. Fnatic have been working on their mental game. Well, there's no bigger test of their mental game than on elimination point with only a smattering of sidearms and shotguns. See if they can maintain composure and, well, mechanically pull this off as well. Let's not forget it's an individual game. And they've certainly got the advantage here, Heroic. They've got to keep their hands steady. Long control. Makes sense against the weak buy. This is what we saw them up against the uh, Deagles and Scouts. The same choice. Mm. Util will be lined up. Stay on the lurk. Roland the threat. Quite like Flush's position, even though he is low here. Oh, wow. This Crims is here. Molly's coming. Here we go. Tessa's going to lead the way. He has enough for the shot. Crims still lives, but for how long? That reload can take a lifetime. Back up and ready to go. A 4v4. Oh, and they've done it. It's just JW looking to save the day for Fnatic. Upgrades to the AK. That's a, certainly a weapon for the job. Bomb yet to be planted. Looks like that's going to be courtesy of Kadian. And there we have it, folks. Fnatic.